Archbishop Welby voided Sussex's marriage as Meghan fakes her pregnancy to force Harry to marry her. Meghan Markle used a fake pregnancy ruse to force Prince Harry into marriage, allegedly. The basis for the statement lies in a Daily Mail article from April 2023 regarding Harry's legal battle against the news group's newspapers due to alleged phone hacking. In a series of animated emails, Harry expressed concern to Velo staff that his family was in danger of becoming a laughingstock. He published a letter to Bolster's assertion that a secret agreement between the royal family and a news executive prevented him from pursuing legal action. Previously, emails revealed Harry's frustration when he contacted the Queen's late communications director, E. Oswin, regarding discussions with News International, February 2018. Oswin informed the prince that there had been no response from Robert Thompson, CEO of News International. Harry's answer was clear. I wouldn't hesitate to report that. To me, this organization should be leading the way on this issue and is being viewed as an ineffective and weak person. I cannot begin to tell you what it will say about the institution if this issue is resolved before the competition and the baby's wedding. If it is not resolved, if the Queen allows them to win on that day, May 19th, they have no reason not to solve the problem. He further emphasized the need to issue an ultimatum, warning that failure to resolve the problem would render the institution and its principles a laughingstock. Fake pregnancy rumors have surrounded Meghan Markle for quite a while now, but this particular theory seems more believable than others. Patricia Olson on Cora highlights a compelling comment, or moment rather, at the wedding when the Archbishop of Canterbury addressed family and children. Prince Harry smiled at Meghan, but she seemed indifferent. The prince's knowing smile hinted that he knew something others didn't know about the pregnancy. Patricia also alluded to details from the Spears, where Harry sought his grandparents' permission. I suppose I would have to say yes. Now, this is where conversations get more interesting. Archie was not born until May 2019. The emails mention that the NGN lawsuit are all dated before the wedding, May 19th, 2018. Megan did not look pregnant at the wedding. If she were, her dress, the way it was made, it wouldn't fit her. If Megan became pregnant with Archie, May 2018, he would be born much earlier than May 2019. Human pregnancy does not last 12 months. The standard length is 40 weeks, or roughly 9 months. Additionally, it's rumored that Meghan informed Harry of the pregnancy at Tom and Skip's wedding, following the example that took place in March of 2017. Although the Sussexes were said to have gotten engaged in November, some sources place the engagement as early as August of, or rather September of 2017, assuming a 6-month engagement. But the time of the wedding, Meghan had given birth already from March 2017 to May 2018, which is 14 months. Add another 12 months to that and we have a total of 26 months. Tom and Skip's wedding photos are widely spread, according to rumors that Prince Harry and Meghan broke up as she made a surprise appearance at the wedding. Initially, Meghan was said to have received the invitation as Harry's plus one. However, when the relationship ended, the invitation disappeared into thin air without even flinching. She attended the event and made a surprise revelation. She was pregnant. Allegedly, Tom and his wife Lara were less than pleased to see her and many of the other guests reportedly ignoring her.